Today I'm showcasing Final Fantasy VII and Mortal Kombat X on the PlayStation 5 on this amazing Alienware AW3225QF. It's SDR versus HDR Peak 1000 in today's video. And what can I say? The display speaks for itself. I mean, you can easily see HDR Peak 1000 with its amazing peak highlights, that contrast, and that brightness advantage over SDR mode. And that's what really sets the QD OLED technology apart from the W OLEDs. I mean, my LG 27GR 95QE and ASUS PG 827AQDM are both really good, the ASUS being better, especially with ABL and total overall brightness. But QD OLED really is a step above. I mean, forget about just the brightness, that color advantage side by side can easily be seen. And today I want to showcase more gameplay so you can really see that difference. HDR Peak 1000 does look overall brighter, even though it's called Peak 1000. The main difference of this specific HDR mode is that the peak highlights reach 1000 nits, 1094 with my testing. So first of all, that's crazy, especially with OLED technology in a monitor form. But overall, the image looks brighter. The camera really can't do it justice. I'll see what I can do about recording HDR in the future, as this video is an SDR. But with this QD OLED Gen 3 panel, with that new pixel arrangement, I mean, I was able to tell from the OLED G8 to the OLED G9. With that new pixel arrangement, everything just looks sharper. It's hard to describe, but it does look sharper. And the same thing can be found here. Setting it up right away, I was blown away by how crisp the image looks. But not so much the SDR brightness. As you would think, it's 32 inches, it's gonna look brighter than my 27 inch W OLED. Which it does of course, but it doesn't blow it away. At least in SDR mode. I mean the CGI here and the gameplay coming up really look very sharp. I don't think I've ever seen this game look this good. I mean, I usually play at my 34 inch OLED G8, and that's with the peak brightness on high. And while that looks awesome, seeing this peak HDR 1000 at 32 inches, side by side, your eyes just tend to go to the bigger size. That's just how it works. And of course, this HDR mode can back it up with that brightness, at least with the peak highlights. Guys, I really do like making these kinds of videos, showcasing different presets, different modes, and different games. If you guys want to see a specific game or mode, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it as fast as possible. But please note, there are many QD OLED gaming monitors coming out in the near future. And that special OLED 4K 240Hz 1080p 480Hz monitor, that's gonna be really cool. And I just think this Alienware really sets the bar. I mean, I'm sure future monitors will surpass this in brightness, in gaming features. But this HDR mode really looks good. And remember friends, just because it says HDR Peak 1000 doesn't mean you're getting a thousand nits all the time. People always say, good luck with your eyes, you're gonna blow them out. We're talking about peak highlights, sparks, flashes, explosions. Usually nits hover between 1 to 300 nits depending on the scene. At least with this Alienware, you never see 650 nits full field. Like on the Aorus FE43U, or on your mini LED TV, or any mini LED monitor. You get what I'm saying? The HDR Peak 1000 sets the bar, sets the limit very high for those peak highlights. But with SDR, the cap is at 270 nits. It won't go higher in SDR. And as you've just seen, the beginning part of this video, everything was lit up, the train passing through the city, the desert area. But when everything turns night and gets into the city, that's when OLED shines. Especially in Final Fantasy VII, when you make contact, the piercing brightness in HDR just blows you away. While in SDR, it's capped at about 270 nits. So seeing that difference in person just makes Final Fantasy a different game. I mean, that's what I think. It feels completely different. You're more immersed. The sparks seem 3D-ish because that contrast is there. Now, if the piercing brightness is too much for you, you can also select True Black 400, which like the name states, it keeps everything around 400 nits. So you get way less ABL. I mean, I haven't seen any on HDR Peak 1000, but still, if you're prone to seeing that, I would say it's easier on the eyes and would give you a fuller brightness picture than the HDR 1000 at the cost of those peak highlights. I mean, my personal preference, I'm just gonna keep it on HDR Peak 1000 really that good. I'm showing here SDR versus the maximum HDR power of this specific monitor. But if you want to see True Black 400 versus HDR Peak 1000, just let me know guys. I mean this year I do really want to get more hands on on these monitors. I want to showcase more SDR versus HDR, OLED versus Mini LED. There's so much technology coming out in the near future. I even want to showcase more shadow play gameplay. As one thing is you can see it on the screen that I'm showcasing, but I want you to be able to get that exact image. So check back very soon, as I will be introducing different formats to see which one takes off with you guys. More info and a variety of content, always friends, to help you make that awesome buying decision. I hope this video was helpful in showing you the differences between SDR and HDR Peak 1000. Like the name states, 
Those highlights are really amazing and can reach up to over 1,000 nits and honestly really needs to be seen in person to really appreciate what the technology is doing. The Alienware AW3225QF is the first of its kind and there's so many other monitors coming out in the near future. MSI, Samsung, Aorus, HP, and Asus. From a wide variety of gaming features to those heat sinks, we got a lot to choose from. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more videos just like this one. Breaking news versus videos, gameplay showcases, and live streams all coming to you in new formats in 2024. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.